It's such a tight battle for relegation oh, this season. Oh. It is a hard one, but I do need your three teams going down. Are we in agreement that rock bottom of the table is Southampton? Yes. Yep. I think they're definitely gone. I don't know what it is. They've got some good players as well. Like Bella Codger, a great centre-back, right? Lavia. Lavia. Ward Price is always a decent player. I think Che Adams has always been all right. He's like the Shane Long of a couple of seasons ago, but yeah, I think Southampton are definitely down. Then it's a free for all. It's like a Royal Rumble, WWE. Who's going to go down? Before we go with it, let's rule out some teams. Okay. I'll rule out Everton. Sean Dyche, you think? Sean Dyche. You yeah. think you think they're, you think they're safe? Dyche. Yeah. Just Sean Dyche, that's it. Okay. I rule out Everton. I rule out West Ham. Why is that? Listen, West Ham have got a tough run in, but I just think people always go, you're never too good to go down. Sometimes you are too good to go down. I know West Ham went down on 42 points before. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most ever acquired by a relegated team. Wow. And they had some stars in that squad, but I just can't see them going down. I just can't see it. I just think they got too much talent in that squad. I think Declan Rice and the boys will keep them up. Do you not think, though, Europe is going to be a distraction for them? Because they're still in that. The they'll, they'll, they'll probably win that. You think? I mean, yeah. they drew the first leg, so... Yeah, yeah probably, they'll probably get through that. They've mm -hmm. got European know-how now, remember? Yeah, true. So... I just don't think they'll go down. I think no matter what, because they haven't shot the manager, yeah. it will be a it will be a decision that needs to be made okay. at the end of the season. Do we stick with Moisey or mm -hmm. do we give it Ixie to the end of the season? <laughs> but I don't think West Ham are going down. Who else would I really rule out of it? I think only those two teams that I would definitively say you're not. I, do you know what? I'm going to put my neck out of line. I don't think Chelsea get relegated. <laughs> I was literally about to say that. I was like, what about Chelsea? You know, we're on 39 points. I've got one more team that I think actually might not go down. I think Palace won't go down. Oh, I didn't even have him in the equation. No, didn't no. even have him in the Roy equation. Roy Hodgson, Super Boy, he's back. Yep, Roy the boy. You got Bournemouth, who, although they're down there, they pulled off some good wins, I know, man. I know. Bournemouth Where's have been there? decent. And it, they'd be very unlucky to go down. You've got Forest, mm. you've got Leeds, you've got Leicester, who are playing awful. Now, we're recording today before the first match of Dean Smith, an ex-Aston Villa manager. More importantly, JT who's mm. going to be vital for that team in keeping them up. <laughs> and because they've got John Terry there as assistant coach, I don't think Leicester are going to go. But I think maybe that's just my tribalism towards Chelsea and John Terry that I'm saying that because Leicester have probably been one of the worst teams in the league this season. They have been awful. Ugh. They'll be a fire sale if they go down. They've got some talent in that squad that could go. I'll give you my two. Go on. I think Forrest again. Really? I went to Forrest earlier on in the season. Yeah. Me and Noor went to Chelsea against Nottingham Forest at the city ground. Five out of their last seven games include Man United, Liverpool, Brighton, Arsenal, and Chelsea. Listen, they could they could by all means pick up points against Chelsea, but do you see them taking? I know in the relegation battle anything can happen, but I don't see them taking points off Man United. Liverpool's one of them. I don't see them taking points off Brighton. I don't see them taking points off Arsenal. Second to last game of the season when Arsenal could be fighting for a title. No way. Chelsea. Who knows? My final team. And this was a team that I backed from the start mm -hmm. purely because they had an American in charge. And I just do <laughs> not think that's the way to go in modern day Premier League Soccer. football or whatever. <laughs> Leeds United. Last, mm. they've, got, they've got Liverpool to still play. And their last four games are City, Newcastle, West Ham, Spurs. Now, if Ooh. you tell me that a team in a relegation battle will have every chance of not picking up a point in their last four games. And that's not out of the uh, realms of possibility with those teams. As I say, City, Newcastle, West Ham, Spurs. I don't know. I think Leeds are going to go. I, f I really do think Leeds are go. So I'm saying Southampton, Forest, Leeds. For yourself? It's, you raise a good point with Forest because they do have some really tough fixtures when you've just said it like that. But the only saving grace they have is any team who are involved in the relegation battle, they have the bo best home record. So at home, they're fantastic because away from home, the issue... Obviously, goals are a bit of an issue for them as well. I think one of Forest or Leeds are going down. If I had to put my money on it, I think Leeds are going down this really? season. Yeah, I think Leeds go down. Maybe that's the Man United in me that's saying it, but I got a feeling Leeds go down. And then this, this is where things get interesting. I'm torn between Bournemouth or Leicester. I know you said that Bournemouth do pick up results and they do, but I just look at that team, I'm just like, how are you guys doing they're, like, they're overachieving if anything with the squad they've got Leicester on the other hand are very much underachieving they've got a lot of goals in their team but they just haven't had a good season this year they've been shit they have been awful I, I, I really admire Leicester like I think they've done great things over the last couple of years not mm. just that Premier League win we, we always look at the epitome the Everest of that that Premier League yeah. win but just like the fifth place finishes FA Cup quarter final of the Champions League against Atletico Madrid they've completely overachieved done brilliant things as you say the FA Cup win but they, they, just to watch them on the eye, they've been poor mm. bad. If you look at a squad that you say is too good to go down, I think Leicester are that sort of epitome. But 
I don't know, Joey. I'm going to say Bournemouth just because I think surely Leicester can't go down. Surely Leicester can't go down. So I'm going Southampton, Leeds and Bournemouth. Can I just say a lot of people thought Newcastle couldn't go down. A lot of people thought Blackburn couldn't have gone down. True. There's been team, West Ham, 2003, there's been teams that have gone down that a lot of people thought couldn't have gone down. Mm. could happen to Leicester. And do you know what? Even though I've given my top three, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it did. But let us know in the comments, people, who do you think is going to get relegated 